Well, the news just doesn't seem to stop today. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some interesting new leaked photos that may or may not be Primaris bikers and several other leaked units. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, the strategy focus 40k channel, where we're usually more about outwitting our foes on the battlefields of the 41st millennium, although it seems like today we're mainly just looking at the unfolding news that is 9th edition Warhammer 40k. Now, unlike all the official previews that we've actually seen already today, these are completely unsubstantiated and haven't been backed up by Games Workshop. It consists of four different images, seen from the realms of Facebook and Reddit, though I'm not entirely certain where their exact source came from initially, so if anyone does know them, please let us know down in the comments. Thanks very much to the person who tipped me off to these by posting them under one of my Facebook comments. That was very helpful, and I do appreciate it. Now, these are very much definitely rumours at the moment, they're certainly not confirmed, so they could be just quite convincing fakes. But at least for three of the four images, I think there's very solid reasons to believe that these are actual leaked images of upcoming Warhammer 40k miniatures, rather than just someone messing around with Photoshop, which is why I've decided to talk about them on the video, rather than holding back till a future date. So we'll start off with the most obvious, which are the picture of these Primaris bikers. Here we have what looks like every inch a Primaris bike squad, very much like the one that was teased in that very blurry and grainy photo from previously in the year. Here is that very photo, and it shows what looks to be a Primaris Space Marine flyer front and centre, with the bikes in the top right hand corner. We have talked about it previously on the channel, the fact that again it's certainly not corroborated, it might just be completely made up and someone messing around with Photoshop. I personally felt it was more likely to be a real one, as it does seem to show very much part of a typical Games Workshop army shot, pictured in ultra low resolution. A grainy flyer in the centre, which looks like it has elements taken from the repulsor, such as those grav plates, and then wheeled Primaris bikers on the top right. I personally feel they do look pretty similar to the ones in this leaked image. You can even tell that the bikers in the picture are at slight angles and holding bits of war gear, so they do seem 100% consistent with that. If this is real, then it looks like it's very much the computer design frame for the bikers initially. They don't strike me as actual photograph miniatures, though I guess they could be the resin 3-up type version that they typically make to get a feel of the thing that they're developing. Whether they're real or fake, I certainly like the style of them. There's two guys with chainsaws, one with what looks to be a heavy bolt pistol, and they're very much clad in the standard Mark 10 armour, just like your standard issue intercessors. The bikes are armed with the customary twin bolt guns. I'm going to guess that seeing as these are Primaris, they'll probably be twin bolt rifles rather than standard bolt guns. And overall, I think they just look and feel exactly like a light C standard Primaris bikers. If they are real, then I'm sure we'll see more news about them very soon in the future. Maybe as 9th edition starts going, perhaps even potentially in a starter box. We did have fairly similar looking Dark Angels Ravenwing bikers in the Dark Vengeance starter box, and these guys have a similar sort of feel to that in my mind. Do take this with a pinch of salt though, they could be literally people who are making a nice 3D image of Primaris bikers. It was actually based on that grainy image before, so something that would tie in with that. So it certainly could have been reverse engineered. Again, if I'd had to guess one way or the other, then my instincts are that these are probably real. They look pretty convincing and really quite cool to me. Next we've got a big picture of a Necron army photo shoot, which seems to have been shot with the same blurry camera as the one previously. It really is photos like this that make me think that Games Workshop do leak their own things, as it's just kind of hard to credit that you could get a picture that's this good, but no better with the modern cameras that all phones have these days. I think that this one seems to add a lot of legitimacy to the leak, because the thing on the top right of the screen very much looks like the model of the Silent King that was shown off in the Games Workshop preview today. I think you can see that green face critter up at the top of the days, and its little attendants to either side. I think it also adds a lot of legitimacy that the Necrons are all painted in that weird sort of not quite silver colour that they seem to be, maybe sort of vaguely browny copperish. It looks like the exact same tint as the ones that we saw in the preview for this new dynasty that they were talking about in the Games Workshop preview. It does look to me like it's a very accurate picture. It looks like there's a new monolith that we can see here. That big green crystal has been replaced by a sort of orb of crackling energy. We've got what I think are a horde of the new warriors emerging from it. There's some of those trial quad leg contraptions from the big online preview scuttling around. An enormous disturbing wind creation, maybe that's a katana of some sort. And I'm wondering if this might be a new take on the destroyer on the bottom left with a gauss cannon. To add even more credibility to the leak as a whole, the things on the bottom right look like primaris with swords and storm shields, which we also seem to have a close-up picture of in the next photo. 
So these guys are the Primaris with Power Swords and Storm Shields, and it does look like they could be a new elite unit for the Primaris Marines. I believe that those are Iron Halos that they have on their backs, and this would certainly tie in with the Iron Halo guy with a pistol and Storm Shield that we can see in plain view on the Warhammer 40,000 webpage. He wasn't talked about in the preview, but he was there as what looked like a little Easter egg for people to find if you went onto the actual site and looked through it. I did mention that one in the previous video as well. Again, these look pretty legitimate to me. They have the little tilt plates that the new Assault Marines seem to sport. They have those Iron Halo backpacks on, and they look like a really imposing unit of Primaris veterans to me. Although, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're giving quite away the diversity that we used to get with Stern Guard or Vanguard veterans. I was quietly hoping for a Primaris veteran kit that gave us loads of combi weapons, power weapons, and all sorts of things like that but just as an instinct for me, it doesn't feel like that's the case with these models. I suspect that they're either just set like that, or you maybe have an option to trade out one of their swords for a pistol or a different combat weapon perhaps. That's all complete speculation though, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Either way, I think that Storm Shield and Power Weapon Primaris are something that were really desired by the community, and they're a proper close combat troop that's desired to have something that's not just a chainsword or combat blade. Finally, out of these images, there seems to be another Primaris character on the way. This one doesn't really have anything to corroborate them, but they look like a pretty stunning looking miniature to me. This one really reminds me of the Chaos Space Marine Master of Executions type character, a grim and foreboding guy with a massive power weapon, who looks like he's all ready to behead some traitors, and he's even counting down the time that they have left on that little hourglass he's got. No idea at all whether he's going to be an HQ choice, or maybe he could be a new take on the iconic company champion, a dedicated melee duelist, sent to find and destroy the enemy's commanders and HQ choices. Either way, it looks like a really stunning miniature, and I wouldn't want to get on his bad side. So I'm afraid there's not much more to say other than these images all exist. They might be real, they might not be. I strongly suspect that they are, though. If you've got any more information as to where they came from, or anything else that might either corroborate or debunk them, please let us know down in the comments, it'd be interesting to hear, and my bet is that we'll probably find out more about them over the next few weeks. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Auspets Tactics, where we'll most certainly be covering the updates as we build up towards 9th edition. And if you've been enjoying the channel and would like to support us at all, I'd just like to mention my Element Games affiliate link that's down in the description below, and the Amazon one in the USA. If you are thinking about buying any models in the near future, and you'd like to help support the channel, if you give one of those links a click before ordering, and then order either through Element in the UK or Amazon in the US, then a little bit of the money goes towards Auspets Tactics, and it doesn't cost you any more on your particular order. Naturally weigh this up against supporting your friendly local gaming store if you have one near you, but if you were thinking about buying some things online, then that's an option to help support the YouTube and keep the videos coming. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.